Hey guys, welcome to uh, my video here about trying out the new unit, the Azaps, which are actually a pretty freaking wicked unit. They have this uh, little shield, so sometimes they could deflect uh, arrows, but uh, the main thing about this unit is their counterattack abilities. So, what they can do is prevent damage from a charge and redirect it back at the enemy. It's actually so wicked. You're going to see, uh, just when we load in, um, a little bit of a battle at B, which, oh dude, these guys against the units that we're fighting at the start, so nice. So, of course, just starting the field battle, we're going out, gonna capture a supply point with uh, one of my boys. It's always good to get one of these before pushing one of the other objectives, just in case you need to resupply. I'm letting my troops get over here to Bravo. I noticed that uh, <laughs> forgot to adjust my music and sound effects volume, but uh, may as well throw in a little thing here. Uh, Gaia, House Gaia, part of the North American server. It's the house I'm in. Highly recommend you guys join. Uh, it's mainly focused on territory wars, but we do all sorts of content. We'll have a link to the Discord down below. But uh, I see that they are sending a Tursig charge. Into some spear sergeant, so I throw my A's apps in there. Just to try to intercept and see what I can do. And it looks like my A's apps are actually getting out. Uh, pretty undamaged, I would say. They only killed two A's apps with those two eggs. And uh, the mall just finished off the third one. Um, so, with that being said, I'm gonna let my guys heal up. Gonna let them recharge. It's about this time that I notice, hey, we have both A and B. Uh, C might be a fairly easy target to go for, so figured may as well start heading there while my guys are healing up. Trust the team to hold uh, A and B there. Right now I'm just letting my Azaps catch up. Uh, now that they're fully healed, I have them trying to follow me. Just over the crest of the hill, I notice that he has a group of archers, and it looks like it is a dual blade with uh, some domain archers, I want to say. I'm not too sure. I don't really use that unit. I'm now just realizing that the dual blade could alt me and have those archers completely destroy me, so I'm trying to get my A's absolutely as soon as possible with the charge. Only a few of them actually got through. While the rest, I think, got uh, stuck on a ledge or something. Uh, it's only now that I'm realizing that the remaining Azaps actually got stuck in a battle with some Rattan Rangers. Um, yeah. So now we have a Nodachi, a Dual Blade, a set of Rattan Rangers on my group of Azaps, which they're actually holding out pretty decently. Uh, try using as many abilities as possible since. They have a passive that they gain 12% defense whenever you use an ability. And I just noticed that we have two more ally heroes just arriving to the battle. Uh, pretty much saving my life because that was going to be a bit too rough for me to handle. Looks like we cleared out all their Rattans here, which is actually really nice. It's really nice. Considering, what, we just lost... A decent portion of Azaps. We only have five left, so uh, barely anything. But uh, try and top them off, because you never know. I noticed that we're missing B and A now, <laughs> that everyone kind of rotated to C, so let's debate on throwing a watch down and start shooting down towards Bravo. But um, after looking around a little bit, I noticed that they're trying to do another push for Charlie. So, really got a hold. With my five Azaps. I'm trying to move them out the way because I see a monastic night charge coming through. No need to just sacrifice them right there. <laughs> I 
as you see, uh, as soon as that Odachi got knocked down, he teleported behind. It's one of the more interesting bugs that I've encountered. It's a little hard. Hopefully, uh, hopefully servers get a little upgraded in the near future. And uh, those javelins, they completely miss. Well, I shouldn't say they completely miss. Only one of my Azaps actually died from the javelin throw. They could have been aiming at me. There could have been lots of different things happening there. But uh, the fact that four of them still survived wasn't too bad. Right now, obviously, my Azaps are dead. So moving on to my second favorite unit here. The Nobkin Archers. Some of the strongest archers in the game with the stacking bleed. Uh, it can easily do about, what, 3,000 damage per tick once you have full 15 stacks of bleed on the enemy units or heroes. So it really ramps up on damage, which is nice. We're just going back to C because we had A, B, and C at the time, and having archers on C is always nice because you have the high ground and you can shoot down to B and get pretty fortified up there decently. Uh, <laughs> looks like my boy warrior just said he does just don't mind that voice. Um, my knobkins are trying to shoot them. So I'm just trying to get my knobkins in uh, position here where I can bleed out his soldiers. So we try ulting them to knock them all down, but I think the mall grabbed me at the same time that I knocked him down, so I kind of nullified both of our ultimates. Uh, normally I would move my archers, but he called back the guards. So right about now I do move my archers out, only because I know he's no longer focused on me. And then as soon as he starts focusing on me, I have the archers start attacking again. And I don't even need to finish him off because I know the Nomkins will either kill him or the bleed will kill him. Lost about half of our Nomkins there, but still have a decent portion. So we're going to set them up on C to try to help out the B area there. Our victory is imminent. And as we're setting up, we see them, uh, the enemy retaking A. Nothing really can be done about that. We're just going to sit at C and win the game because we're so close to victory as it is. Uh, as soon as I notice my Domkins start shooting a target, I, uh, I all tap back into the game because I was uh, doing something with the RuneScape at that time. <laughs> Try to focus my arrows to hit the Condotary Guards because I want to start stacking them with the bleed. Uh, if those Condotary Guards get within melee range of my archers, my archers are all going to be dead. Now, I try to stand behind the pikes here, but sadly the Maul grabs me, throws me into his Condotary Guards, tries to get me into damage, and I almost die. Luckily I rolled out. I see that my Nomkins are out of ammo, but it won't matter. It's the end of the game. We we won, got MVP, uh, did some decent damage there. Overall, not too bad. Could have got some more player kills, more assists. But as far as capture, unit kills, and stuff like that, very decent for using Azaps that aren't even maxed. I think they're level 11 or something like that. But uh, anyways, we're going to take this time just to mention House Gaia once again part of the North American server, so if you guys are ever looking for a fun house to hang out with, Guy is definitely the one to join. And this is one of my first videos, so if you guys have any feedback whatsoever, please let me know. Let it be audio levels, video, different editings. Uh, I did notice the playback of the video for this was a little bit choppy, but We'll, uh, we'll try to improve that going forward, but thanks guys for all the support on my first little bit of a video here. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to making some more videos for Conqueror's Blade down the road. Okay, have a great day. Thank you.